Hi guys and welcome back to our Together Active mini-series. This is episode two. I'm Coach Mike, this is Coach Matt, this is Coach Ben, and we're also joined today by two special guests. We've got Ollie and we've got Henry who will be joining us today. Today we're going to be showing you some different games and activities that you can do at home using little space, using minimal equipment, and hopefully should be lots of fun. Okay guys, stay tuned. Okay guys, so we've come outside for our first activity. We're going to do some little warm-up games. Today we're going to be using some tennis balls for this activity, but if you haven't got tennis balls, you can use anything. You can use socks, you can use milk bottles, anything you've got lots of in your house would work perfectly for this game. How it's going to work, we've got Ollie and we've got Henry. When I say go, the two boys are going to run to the middle, they're going to collect a tennis ball, they're going to take it back to their base, back to their start point, and we're going to repeat that until all the balls have gone, then we'll see who's collected the most. Okay, boys, are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Let's go, Henry. That's it, take it back, put it in your go. Go. That's it, keep going. <laughs> so for this, guys, this is a really good game, working on speed, agility, <laughs> A little bit of hand-eye coordination as well. And as you can see, the boys are having lots of fun in the meantime. If you haven't got a lot of space, you just make the distance between the balls and their bases a little bit smaller. They could be running a shorter distance. You could even do this inside in your lounge if you've got space. Last couple of balls, boys. That's it, only five to go. Five more to go. That's it, the last couple. Last couple of balls. Who's going to get that last one? Who's it going to be? Yeah. Henry's got it. Well done. Okay, guys, so that's the first version of that game. We're just going to show you how you can change that to add in some different movement skills for the children. See you in a minute. Okay, guys, so we're going to change this activity slightly. Rather than getting the boys to run in to collect their ball, we're now going to get them to do a bear crawl. Now this is a gross body movement that is good for the development of younger children, develops their upper body strength, their core strength. But also if you're doing this with older children, maybe rugby players, this is a really good technique to practice what they will know as their tower of power. Okay, so just a different variation in this game, but hopefully just as much fun. We're using rugby balls to show the boys where to start and finish. But again, if you haven't got balls at, your, at home, you can use anything just to denote a start and a finish point. Okay, boys, are we ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Here's we're standing on all fours. Stand on our hands and our feet. Work on our core strength, developing upper body, arm strength, shoulder strength, and a little bit of coordination as well, moving their hands and feet at the same time. Okay, boys, keep going. We've only got six balls left. And so well done. Good work, Henry. Good, keep going. Make sure we stay on our feet, not on our knees. That's it. Good, keeping up nice and tall, good. I take it back, Henry. Fantastic, okay guys, so that's just the second variation of that game. Second variation of that game, just using different motor skills to develop the same sort of, uh, same sort of outcome. Okay, back in a minute guys with our next variation. Okay guys, so this is gonna be our third variation of this activity. This time we're gonna get the boys to come in using a crab walk. So they're gonna be on all fours, hands and feet, but this time their tummy's gonna be facing up towards the sky rather than down towards the floor. As you can see, we've also replaced our balls with some household items that you might have lying around, some empty juice bottles, milk cartons, that sort of thing, just to show that you can do this without any other sports equipment. Okay, boys, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> so this game also gives them a different, different problem, so they've got to work out how to move in a different way, also how they're going to carry that object back to their start point. So there's a little bit of problem solving coming in as well, but using gross motor skills. Well done, Henry, like that between the knees, good boy. Can we keep going? Good, so how can you balance that? How can you get it back to your start point? Between the knees, well done. So we're working out, solving a problem, solving out a way to try and get this object back to our start point. We're also trying to work out how to overcome the wind as well. Good, keep going, boys. So again, guys, we're still developing upper body strength, a little bit of core strength as well, a little bit of cardiovascular fitness, because they're doing this for about a minute or two. Ah. <laughs> keep going. Who's going to last one back? Henry! Yeah, fantastic. Well done. Okay, guys, so that is the third variation of our warm-up game. See you in a minute. 
Okay guys, this is our fourth and final variation of this game. As you can see, we've got a mixture of different equipment in the middle now. We've got some bottles, we've got some softballs, and we've also got the rugby ball. The rugby ball is going to be the prize for the person who completes this quickest. This time what the boys are going to do, they're going to come in using a monkey arm action. So they're going to swing their arms from a high to a low position as they sidestep all the way into the middle. This simulates a scrum half pass. So if you're doing this with older children, this would be quite good. Get them to think about crouching low to pick up a ball and then exploding up when they pass. Okay, boys, so you've got to get the bottles and the balls first. The person who gets the rugby ball, the last item will be the winner. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. And again, guys, another good gross motor skill, getting them used to their legs, going from a low position to a high position, a bit of coordination, using their lower bodies and their upper bodies. Good, that's it. So we've got the last sponge ball, Henry. And Ollie's got the rugby ball. Okay, Good. So Ollie, you can do a scrum half pass into me. Fantastic. Okay, guys, that's our last variation of that game. Have some fun with it. Use some different equipment. Fantastic. See you in a minute. Okay, guys, this is activity number two. This activity is going to be about speed, agility, and a little bit of reaction time. Now, ideally, we would use some coloured cones for this or some coloured tag belts, but as we're doing this from home, we're going to be using what we've got. So we've got a water bottle and we've got a milk bottle. The game's going to work like this. I'm going to hold out either the water bottle or the milk bottle. The boys have then got to run to the corresponding bottle that is on the floor. The first one to get there is the winner. Okay? Right, boys, are you ready? Yeah. No, John on the spot. Fast feet, fast feet. Are you ready? Yeah. Good. Back to the middle. I'll see you again. Okay guys, so just a very quick example there, very simple, if you haven't got that much space, either just bring the, the bottles or the markers a little bit closer, if you haven't got that much space at all, then it could just be a simple step and touch to whatever it is you're pointing to, but be creative, have some fun with it, enjoy. We'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, we're going to take this activity a little bit further, as you can see, we've given the boys a rugby ball each, so now we're going to do exactly the same activity, but when the boys get to that marker, they're going to score a try. So for Henry, new to rugby, this is going to be a good opportunity to teach him how we score a try, keeping the ball in two hands, placing it on the floor when he gets to the try line, okay? being creative having some fun with it different challenges for the kids just use your imaginations and have fun thanks for watching this episode of together active guys we hope you've enjoyed it and got some ideas to use at home big thanks to coach ben to coach matt and huge thanks to ollie and henry for helping us out today don't forget to follow us on social media or on facebook on twitter on instagram and please share your videos with us of you doing these activities at home with your family Saracen Sport Foundation is a registered charity and at this time more than ever we are in need of your help. So if you can donate anything, as much or as little as you can, please donate using the link below. And don't forget at this time with COVID-19, please be careful, please make sure you're following the government and the RFU guidelines, staying safe and keeping others safe. We'll see you again soon for another episode of Together Active. Thanks guys.